friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my channel if you are new here. I am Martina Lily, or at least these are my hands, and today we're going to do a big old swatch party with the new Natasha Denona I Need a Nude palette. I've already done a video where I did three looks using the palette, and I also did in-depth swatches of this palette where I swatch each individual shade on the back of my hand and like blend it out. So if you want to see those swatches and the looks, I will link that video down below. Uh, but today we are just going to compare this palette to... A lot of other palettes basically so hopefully that sounds interesting to you guys if it does go ahead and do the youtube things like subscribe hit that notification bell and let's get started this is the inside of the palette here obviously mine's looking a little grubby because i have swatched it before uh if you haven't caught one of these videos from me before basically what i do is insert a heap of photos of this palette's like full arm swatches compared to other palettes that it might be similar to and then I kind of do a time lapse of like the metallic shades and other shades that I think might be similar to them within the Natasha Denona collection and potentially other palettes within my collection as well. So it's a lot of it's not really a lot of me talking or anything like that the point of this is just to see the shadows kind of swatched out and compared to other palettes to see if maybe this is something that you are looking to bring into your collection or not that's up to you. I did ask on my my community tab like what palettes you guys wanted to see like swatch comparisons like full arm kind of comparisons to this palette and what palettes you wanted to see that was I don't know what I was trying to spit out there but hopefully you got the gist anyway any of the palettes that you guys suggested as long as I had them in my collection I have done that so first up what we're gonna do is we are gonna slide into a like screenshot of just this palette swatched out on its own in case you haven't seen it and then we will slide into other like photos of this palette arm swatches compared to other palettes. And I will have timestamps and everything down below for you guys just in case you only want to see certain parts. This palette will be linked in the description box. If you do click on the link and shop through it, it is affiliated. So thank you so much. All of that just goes back into supporting my little channel here. Bear with me, I'm tongue tied today apparently. Also, one little caveat. My palettes are pretty dirty and grubby, like I use them, I swatch them a lot, that kind of a thing, and honestly, I hate wiping them down to be completely honest with you because it's just tedious and annoying, so this is no shade or hate to you, but if that annoys you, I'm definitely not the swatch video that you want to watch, just FYI, um, and I get it, it like I said, no judgement. Um, Alright, so let's go into the photos. Thank you. 
So they were all the photos and hopefully they were helpful. Now what I want to do first is I do have all of my Natasha Denona palettes that I want to kind of compare some shades to. But I do want to kind of compare this to the Makeup by Mario Ethereal palette first. Just because honestly this like new wet, uh, sparkling wet formula from her reminds me of this formula from the Mario Ethereal Eyes palette and I know that this palette sold out super quickly and a lot of you are still wanting this palette but it's like apparently it's never coming back so maybe if you're wanting this palette Actually, to be fair, straight up, if you're wanting this palette, I do think this palette is a really good, if not better option, personally. Personally, I think it's a better option, but I'm going to compare these because these three formulas really remind, or yeah, these three formulas here, sorry, remind me of the Sparkling Wet formula. Um, and let's see, I haven't swatched this in a hot minute, so I want to swatch this and see how much I think if this is better or this one's better. Does that make sense? Anyway, let's do the time lapse and then I'll come back and chat through. So these are the shades compared. I want to try and get up close so you can see the texture. Now, this one is Delilah from I Need a Nude. And then this one is this shadow right here from the Mario Ethereal Eyes. And as you can tell, the, well, actually, as you can tell, so each second one here is from the I Need a Nude. And then the, these ones right here are from the Mario. And what I can tell is just from swatching them, the textures feel really, 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 really similar. The difference for me is that the Natasha Denona Sparkling Wet Formula has more of a base pigment to it. So there's a lot more of a like opaque color to them versus the Mario one, which is more of like a suspended glitter. And these do have a base, but it's more of a translucent base with that glitter. But the formula is the same. It feels like, not exactly the same, but pretty close. But it's just that the Natasha Denona shadows have a more intense base to them. While I'm here as well, I just want to swatch Travertine and this shadow here from Mario, because they're quite similar. Which is funny because Travertine looks a lot more silver in the pan, but it's, it's quite taupe. And then the Mario one is definitely more of a metal-ish color. So definitely not, may, I mean, maybe similar enough for you, but they are different colors. I will also, just for interest sake, swatch Filigree and Ella. So I'll do Ella first and then filigree against this one. I'm not going to swatch the mattes in this swatch comparison video, by the way. I'm sorry if that's what you were looking for and that disappoints you, but this is going to be way too long. And also for me, mattes are just mattes. They're same, same, but different in different tones kind of thing. So for me, it's about the formula of metallics and I'm sorry if that upsets you. So they're pretty similar. Like filigree here and this one from Mario's pretty close. Same, same, but different, right? So these shadows for you, they might be enough. They might, if you have the Mario palette, it might be enough for you. That's up to you to decide. Or if you've been wanting the Mario palette, maybe the I Need a Nude is for you. Up to you to decide. What I'm going to do now is compare the metallic shades to other shades in my Natasha Denona collection. Um, I wanted to do the Mario one first, even though it wasn't Natasha Denona, because this wet formula is probably the Mario Ethereal Eyes palette is the closest I've got in my collection that I can think of off the top of my head like this. If you haven't seen one of these, basically, I'll start with Whisper here and then go through my Natasha Denona collection and swatch any shades that I think are similar up my arm. And then I, just sw I swiped like another screenshot and I put the n shade names on the screenshot. 
Um, so hopefully it's interesting <laughs> and enjoyable. So that was Whisper, and I think, to be honest, Bieber Monroe, this one right here, was the closest out of my entire collection because this is just a straight metallic formula. You know, there was ones that are same, same, but different, but I definitely think these two are the closest. Now let's do, I'm going to do Ella and Filigree together, just so it's like the two kind of brownie colors together, you know? So this one is Ella, which is a... Um, sparkling foiled formula and then this one is filigree and this is also i believe a foiled formula but i need to triple check that yes so both of these are sparkling foils which is one of my favorite eyeshadow formulas it's really gorgeous There are all the bronzers and I mean, you can tell, right? I think this one right here from Glam is the closest. Same, same, but different. Like, well, it depends, right? Like a brown is a brown, but also for someone who's either into makeup or color in general. For me, like any nuance within a color, I'm like, that's not the same color, but you know what I mean? Anyway, these two, I feel like are quite unique within the collection, at least within my collection. Um, I should explain to you guys, I'm so sorry. I have every single midi. I have the Bieber palette, the gold palette, the Trio Chrome, the Circo Loco, the Metropolis palette, and then a few minis and stuff. So I've only got ones out, like I've gone through and picked out ones that have similar colors. If I miss a shade or something, just message me on Instagram. And if I have it, I will swatch it and take a photo for you. Okay. Anyway, these two for me are quite unique all on their own. And the formula, so these are all just straight metallic shades whereas these two are the foiled and I think this is where you can like really kind of see the difference in them I don't know how much it will show on camera but like in real life these are just so kind of like foiled metallic looking and just have this extra sparkle to them whereas these are like straight metallics and both have their place right like neither I mean I prefer this one just because I like a little bit of sparkle in my life but that's up to you let's go ahead now and uh do travertine I'm sure I'm missing some shapes like that I'm looking at laid out on the table here and they're similar to Travertine but honestly Travertine is really unique like it's not a silver well it's a taupe right I guess is it a taupe like it's not 
it's like a brown and a silver and a gold all had a baby almost like I cannot find a shade within the Natasha Denona collection that I own that is similar to this and maybe I'm missing something but yeah I think the closest would be like retro glam Oscar out of retro glam so I mean that's pretty cool I personally this shade is really unique in my Natasha Denona collection all right let's do Delilah now Again, I don't know if I'm missing something, but nothing really looks like Delilah either. Like, because in the pan, Delilah's like really a gun metal. And then it is a gun metal, but it's also a brown. And I just, I mean, yeah, I don't, I don't have anything like it. I think the closest is honestly the shade from the Mario palette. Like nothing from Natasha Denona's collection. Maybe I'm missing something. I'm sure some of you are screaming through the screen going, yeah, this shade, but yeah, it's very unique in my mind. All right, um, let's do Muse then. These are all the Muse shades that I can kind of see. Again, I'm sure I've forgotten or missed some from like what I'm seeing. So if I have, just message me on Instagram and I'll I'll send it to you in a picture. But I mean, if I'm honest, I think the closest formula wise is from the Glam face palette to this one, which is a sparkling foiled. But even then, this is just more intense and slightly different. The Glam Face Palette is like the sparkling foiled and the new wet formula had a baby. Whereas like, yeah, there's just nothing like it. Like she really has amped up her formulas and her formulas were already beautiful. But it's like, I remember what we used to say about Natasha Denona was that her mattes were like truly impeccable, but her metallics were just kind of like a straight metallic and not like, didn't have that extra oomph of what like a Pat McGrath Labs special shade did. And it's like, she's listened to that and gone, oh yeah, well, here you go, here's some special shades. And I, I'm all here for it. These are beautiful, impeccable formulas. We've done filigree, so now let's go ahead and do sheen. sheens i think the closest is the one from the glam face palette like the light one and there's again like similar kind of formulas but it's very unique <laughs> so what i'm taking away so far from swatching this palette is it might look the same in theory but for me they're very different it might not translate as much to camera but in person they're just very different again are they all a vein of color sure but as someone who kind of looks at these things a lot because I do a lot of swatch videos. I'm not an expert, but I do a lot of swatch videos. Like 
they're so different, the nuances are different. But again, that's not up to me to say, oh, it's so different, you should get this. It's up to you to go, okay, that nuance is, is different enough or that nuance is what I'm looking for in a shade to actually warrant picking this palette up kind of thing, you know? But yeah, I mean, they're just so pretty and sparkly. Makes me want to bathe in them. Um, okay, let's do the last shade, Mia. all of the pinks I think the light pink from the glam palette is the absolute closest uh, in formula and shade like if you get up quite close they probably look more similar on camera I think than they do in person but they are the closest and then you know you can't and then I guess retro and then you have the variations from there I mean so pretty this shade actually Mia I think this might nearly be my favorite shade in the palette controversial I know and Delilah definitely these two like they're really special and I love them I think I'm gonna end this here because I was looking at these shadows against like the rest of my collection and honestly it starts to get like how long is a piece of string kind of thing and I don't want to be here for seven hours if I'm honest um so hopefully the screenshots of the side by side like full arm swatches are helpful enough for you and hopefully all of those other like swatch comparisons were helpful in some way shape or form and if they weren't hopefully it was enjoyable in some way shape or form and if you didn't like it well that's also okay that's also okay <laughs> Let me know your thoughts. Hopefully this was helpful and enjoyable. If you made it this far, you know you're an absolute legend. I appreciate you so, so much. Truly, thank you. And I hope you have the most amazing day wherever you are in the world. And I will see you next time. Bye.